Preview. Preview. Third phase moon, Blake Cousins here. We have incredible videos coming in from Russia and Texas. Welcome to Third Phase Moon, everybody, from around the world. Take a look at this. Submitted by Maxim Trebo from Russia, our buddy up there. He says there's something that fell out of the sky. What are we looking at? Right, now we have firefighters and pedestrian civilians surrounding this unknown object that fell out of the sky in Russia. Wow, this is this is amazing. If you were uh, just in your home and you heard a big boom, and then you go outside in the field in your backyard, what say you, and you find this smoldering in your backyard, something out of this earth lands on planet Earth, the, the surface here, and now you're seeing this with your own eyes. In my opinion, I'd be a little concerned about some kind of, uh, you know, I've seen this in the movies before. You don't want to get too close to this stuff. You don't know what kind of uh, possible bacterial uh, agents that could possibly affect the body from outer space. This is weird. Uh, usually they would put some kind of perimeter around such an event. In my opinion, I think uh, this is so amazing. Astonishing video of something that's unexplained. Brent, what do you make of this thing? The guy's trying to put it out with the fire retardant, and they're, they're being very unsuccessful in doing so. This thing doesn't want to go out. Absolutely, Blake. What intrigues me the most is when the people are right on this thing, it's emitting so much light. Heat would be coming off of this. That's what's so strange. This thing came from outer space and anything coming in at that speed would definitely create heat. Extraordinary amounts of temperature. Wow, this is impressive. The people on the ground are capturing and witnessing something so amazing and historic that this leads one to wonder what the hell is going on in Russia. Well, you know what's really weird too is look at these guys are just kind of basically almost standing downwind from whatever is emitting off this thing. There's some kind of foam texture around this building up. It looks very strange indeed, but I sure would not want to be inhaling whatever's uh, emitting off this. These uh, these fumes could be toxic. But wow, I, I got to give uh, hats off to the guys that shot this stuff over there in Russia. Good job at Maxim Trebo for submitting this incredible video. Look at the colors popping off this thing whatever it is there it's like there's some re, there's some red green wow, maxim trebo does it again and he submitted a second video to us today take a look at this again over russia of what looks to be some kind of portal opening in the sky Wow. The people on the ground are shocked as they witness something that they can't explain. Uh, some people are going to say this is some kind of maybe rocket malfunction spiraling out of control. But what's amazing to me is it doesn't really last very long. It, the moment of uh, this anomaly goes for about 30 to 40 seconds. And then all of a sudden, the it dissipates into thin air. It's, it basically vanishes. No tracer evidence of any kind. If this were a rocket exploding and out of control, there would be some kind of emission residue that would last for a while. But what do you make of this? Like it looks like Russian experiments going on over the skies over there, over Russia. And what's happening to me, it almost looks like a, a portal, a time warp, a bend in space and time. This is incredible footage. Like you say, people, we've seen this stuff from around the world, and people say that these are rocket malfunctions. Highly unlikely. I think these are eyewitness ground reports of extraordinary events, of possible rips in time. Absolutely, Brent. A possible rip in time. I'm just wondering, what is going on over Russia? All kinds of um, submissions coming in. I got a feeling that country is more closer to disclosure than we think. They definitely got the United States beat in uh, getting the word out. Uh, Putin is very interested in the subject matter. I, I wonder what is going on in their minds right now as uh, these events are happening. And what happened over Turkey too? Just last night, some breaking news, some 
mysterious massive explosion shook up Turkey and then strange lights over the sky. You know, is this a correlation of, of the two? It's hard to tell, but Russia, Turkey, there's some issues going on right now with those guys. So is there a UFO war going on per se? It's hard to tell. But again, I want to thank Maxim Trebo for sharing his incredible video. And before we get to the next video submitted to us from Texas, I wanted to remind everybody we're going to be having our special Monday night radio show tonight. So don't forget, join me. Blake Cousins at Third Phase of Moon Radio. The link will be below. It's going to start at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in, if you're in Los Angeles at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, join me. Share your UFO experience to the world. Don't forget, Third Phase of Moon Radio, every Monday and Friday. The number to call in is 347-934-0378. Now, let's get to this. All the way from Texas. What's going on? This was captured by Andrew over the colony, Texas. They definitely look like they're interacting with each other. They don't look like drones. They don't look like Chinese lanterns. They definitely look like orbs of light intermingling with each other over Texas. It's actually a quite uh, incredible capture, even though it doesn't last very long. Like Andrew also says that these lights stayed very still, then ascended straight up into the clouds. These are strange lights indeed over Texas and multiple sightings have been made over the past week of similar lights. It seems like there's a lot of activity happening over the US and what I'm looking at here is very hard to explain what it is. It's definitely unidentified and it's intriguing to say the least. Good job, Andrew. Absolutely. Uh, what's going on with these lights in the sky? You know, we've seen them all over the world, but they're increasing and then the massive explosion in Turkey had the strange light phenomenon going on as well just uh, you know within 24 hours so there is something going on and it's something big and it's something that we need to find out and we need a demand from our governments to tell us that we're not alone let's get disclosure now in 2017 I don't think Obama is gonna do it I think the administration is basically uh, let it go they let it go there They've had their chance and they're not going to reveal it to us. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe in 2017 with the new administration in, the Trump, uh, the Trump team might pull a fast one and beat everybody to the punch. All right, everybody, join me tonight on Monday Night Radio. We're going to be here. We're going to be doing it live. So if you've got a UFO experience you want to share it to the world, wow, we want to hear it. Blake Cousins, keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. We'll see you very soon. Check the link out below. А мы сейчас, короче, это, как в том фильме, станем какими-нибудь суперспособностями. Да, 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 да. Холодно, что ты пипец. Ну, поехали, может? Да нет, ты что? Такой свежак, да не гони, не гони. Закопай, типа ты ничего не делаешь. Такого позитива я не знаю, когда мы еще увидим просто. Он, короче, аж не знает, куда ему предался. Не зря тогда, что их фотка, короче. Я не знаю, мы вот подъехали, сколько мы здесь? 18 минут. То есть вы прям видели оттуда, да? Ой, мы оттуда чуть дальше проехали. 
промываю что-то, наверное, или что-то такое. Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we may have a possible meteor impact, a deep, deep impact in Russia last night. Uh, footage is just now becoming available. Raw footage has been captured, first of all, on a video by a man named Alex in Russia. It what looked like something was coming down out of the sky and it was spiraling. Okay, it was spiraling. Then it crashed. It crashed about a mile from where Alex, a man by the name of Alex, was standing at his home. He heard the explosion. He and some friends got in a car and drove toward the site where 